Crystal Wade here with Let's Wade In. So glad you could join us today. Our topic is a little unusual. So guys, you're welcome to stay, but be advised that this is girl talk. Our Heavenly Father designed girls and guys, men and women differently. He wired their thoughts, their emotions, and their bodies differently. And one of the reasons that he did that is because he doesn't like boring. If each person or each gender were the same, that would be very boring. And the father just doesn't do boring. Have you noticed that every blade of grass and every snowflake is different? It's because our father loves variety. And so he made a variety between the two genders. Father designed girls to value relationships to grow up and be able to become wives and mothers. And whether that's something you do or not, as you become an adult, he did put that ability within girls. We form thoughts and understanding about genders and about growing up and about having relationships through different sources. Some of those sources can be our friends, other girls, as they're talking about their relationships and their boyfriends and through songs and through movies and through what we observe as we are seeing other people. So we just come to these thoughts through different sources. And not all of these thoughts are based on what is real. So that's what we're talking about today. Wouldn't it be nice if it was real? If there really was a knight in white shining armor that rode up on his white horse and rescued us from distress and, and danger and trouble and was concerned about our every desire and concern, wouldn't that be great if that was real? Well, I have good news for you. It is real. It's just not with that guy. It's the Father and His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, who knows your heart, your heart, better than anyone else in the whole world, better than your parents, better than your brothers and sisters, or your friends, or any other guy. He knows your heart better than anyone else in the whole world because He designed your heart and He knows what you like and what you don't like and what your desires are and your hopes and your dreams. He knows it and He cares about every detail of your heart. And here is the amazing part. He really does have a white horse and He really does ride this white horse rather and one day He will come back to the earth riding on that white horse. And the most important thing that he cares about in the whole world is your heart. I want to spend a few moments and talk about why some of the thoughts that we have formed about relationships and how it works are not real. Well, very few men and boys write their own songs. Some do, but most don't. There are paid writers for songs and paid writers for movies. And the reason that these paid writers are in position is because business owners and producers have found out what sells. And they are about making money. So many of these songs and these movies about all of this, the guy just so concerned about the girl every single moment and all of those kinds of things are not real, but they are based on different studies that have shown what sells. So it's about business, not about relationship, not about your heart. Let's talk about the guys. The Father designed them to want adventure, to want to know that they can do something hard and do it well, to want to share their lives with their one true love, and to become a husband and a father and to do all those things well. And that's what the Father put in the hearts of the boys and the men. I came to a point in my own life that forget the songs, the movies, the friends, just forget all of that. I just decided that I really wanted a good man to be my husband, and that's what I wanted. I wrote a list out. 
character qualities that were really important to me. And this list was very, very long and I put a title on it and it was called, get this, Mr. Wonderful. And it had all these character qualities on it. And I thought to myself, how is this even gonna be possible? How can one person be all of these good qualities? And I'm not talking about looks or, or smarts or this or that. I was talking about being dependable and faithful and character qualities like that. So I'm thinking this list is impossible, but anyways, it is what I want. And so some time went on and I had a dream. And in this dream, the father spoke to me very clearly. And this is what he said. He said, the reason that you want all of those qualities is because that is a picture. It's a snapshot of the one I have for you. I was so surprised. I was like, oh, well, God wants me to have Mr. Wonderful. So that was good news. And the father does want you to have Mr. Wonderful because he put that in your heart. That's part of his design and it's his, the foundation for families. And so uh, that's what the father wants for you, for me. Guess what? When I met my husband and got to know him, I found out that he had those qualities that I had on my list. He was that Mr. Wonderful with all those good qualities, just like the father had said. Most people are called by the father to get married at some point in their lives. They really are. There are some people that are called to be single, and that is good and right, but most of the people are called to be married because the father wants them to have a family. That is how the father set it up from the beginning of the time. He put Adam and Eve together and he said, have a family. So that's the father's design. This is good news. The father has your Mr. Wonderful out there. And at the right time, he's going to bring you two together and it's going to be great. Now, when the father brings you and Mr. Wonderful together, right there, we have some thoughts from friends and what we've observed in songs and movies about how life is going to be too. And quite honestly, life is harder in parts than what we have expected and what we thought and the way we built our thoughts from the different things that we saw and observed. We had a weekend sleepover for our students several years ago, and I told them then what I'm telling you now. I've been married for over 20 years, and in that time, we have had, get this, one moonlit walk on the beach. One. Okay, and I'm married to Mr. Wonderful. So life is not exactly what we expect, and it's even harder than what we have expected in some places. This is what I want you to hear. I really want you to hear this, listen to this, and get this in your heart. Jesus is your dearest love. He is the one that knows your heart more than anybody, more than your Mr. Wonderful. He knows your heart and he loves you and he is concerned about your concerns he is concerned about your desires and he has the time and the ability because he doesn't go to sleep or get hungry or tired or fussy like humans do he has the time to listen to you to sit with you to hear you and he wants to hear you he knows you so just turn your focus away Turn your focus away from, from the different ways that you've been thinking about relationships and turn your focus to Him. Turn your thoughts and your emotions to Him and build your relationship with Him now because the time will come that He will send you Mr. Wonderful and even though your Mr. Wonderful may want to, He may genuinely want to help you with every trouble and be, con be listening to and concerned about your every need and desire, He just won't be able to. He just will not be able to do it because He's a human and He's gonna get tired and He's gonna have His own concerns in life. Only the Lord Jesus can do this. So build your relationship with him now so that there's room in your life for him to bring Mr. Wonderful into your life. And when he has brought Mr. Wonderful into your life, 
that there will be room in your heart because you've built your relationship with the Lord so that your relationship is on the rock and you are anchored through anything that you go through in life, be that wonderful or be that hard. Okay? So remember, go with God and go for the gold.